so 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 far these five to eight steps we have learnt then let us move one step ahead there are a few questions uh, someone is asking do we need to use java syntax thread dot sleep or sleep we are using sleep it works fine so please use whichever is simple to you and then there is another question uh, there are open source softwares like selenium why should i go for paid software it's up to you there are always something called support there are brands so there are uh, there are other reasons associated with that so it is company's policy whether you need to use for open source tools or free tools or commercial tools it's it's up to the company okay and the delay someone is asking is it is the delay something to do with synchronization it is very similar to synchronization but it is equal to the wait command in qtp but synchronization commands are separate uh, there is another question again what is the difference between qtp and uh, rft again i repeat please refrain from such questions our aim here it is is to educate rft and its features this is not promotion this is not something like a marketing or this is not something like uh, comparing tools this is purely free educational purpose knowledge sharing with you people i hope you understand that now what we are going to do now is before going to the next uh, topic a yeah, few people joined around 20 new people joined in the last 10 minutes i am showing the open mentor screen if you go to the recorded training window we have uploaded many recorded training you could see white box testing web services testing security testing live load testing so these are all the new ones that we have uploaded these three were uploaded last week this one is uploaded today so you can see all those recorded webinars whenever you get time so this is from openmentor.net's contribution there is one more thing that uh, we are looking at I'll show you a blog there is a blog that we have started a few weeks back okay this is at softsmith-testing dot blogspot dot com so you could see that blog here softsmith dash testing dot blogspot dot com this is a blog where we want to provide lot of valuable information to the testing community we named it as testing guru there are multiple postings if you see the posting we have we have started putting an ebook license to crack that is one of the names that we coded license to crack is the book's name again this is not a published book it is an e blog book we will be uploading more content on this license to crack every week this will act as a complete testing book so anybody wants to read a complete testing material this is available for free so you can view this and if you look at there is another posting that we have done last week top 100 scenarios in inventory management inventory management is one of the key areas in ERPs what are the business scenarios I need to test there are thousands of scenarios but we have taken top 100 test scenarios so if you are able to get top 100 scenarios in every industry it's very good in terms of the functional or domain knowledge to every tester so we will be putting very valuable information over here you can become a member or, or say follower and uh, you can contribute to this also pass on your comments to us we will be happy to incorporate again all these content are intellectually to spread the knowledge to the people for free coming back hope you you will appreciate our aim to get this thing okay 
uh, do you like this blog idea can you please raise the hands if so super I am happy to see that people are information hungry this is what we want to do because uh, people need to have access to information free and then that information must be very very rich in terms of its intellect so we aim to achieve that part next part now I have done this thing if you look at here on the right hand side there is something called test objects then you could see credit combo expiration date name combo ok ok two, something like that and you could see something called a test data pool and you could see something called verification points what you see here this is typically like the UI information okay where do you click exactly where you click let me open up this application this is the application okay now I I want to check what is this uh, tree combo right there is something called a tree 2 I don't understand what this is but it says something on the right hand side test objects meaning what are the objects on the screen that you operated in the during your test recording or scripting but it says some name I don't know what this means but if you right click and then say highlight if you right click and highlight you could see it is blinking on the application I'll do it once again I want to check what is this place order what is this button you could see you can differentiate based on the icons this looks like a tree this is a text box this is a button right and this is a combo box so by seeing the icon you will know what type of the control is now I say it's a button right click highlight it says that is the button so you can highlight objects so what you can do is I don't like this name tree 2 I can rename that right suppose I right click and then say rename watch here here it is right now tree 2 in the script it says tree 2 on the object test objects I am renaming this as composer tree so I say composer tree I click finish here also it has changed the name don't go and then change the name here in the script better come to this one right click rename right and then somewhere I go here credit card includes spaces text what is it I right click highlight it says couldn't find test object what does it mean that means to highlight that object must be visible in the window for example you know this is the name combo right but it is saying name combo when I say right click highlight it highlights that usually what we need to do is this is the internal name or the logical name that they have given but on the screen if you see the name is full name so I want to give something like right click rename full name right full name again it, it doesn't accept special characters so you need to give only alphabetic so I give full name it changes here right and then now it says there is something called a credit card number includes spaces that text what I need to do is I need to bring in this window where that appears then if you say right click highlight it will highlight that so what I will say is I don't want this a long name simply rename is as credit card finish it changes now if you see this list composer tree place the order full name quantity credit card credit combo works it says credit combo again I don't like that name what you can say is right click rename card type then it will say it makes more meaningful right it looks very clear when somebody sees 
and then there is something called the place order 2 because if you go to this window here also there is a button called the place order in the previous window also there is a button called the place order so it is giving 2 as the suffix now I can always say this place order 2 I would like to rename it as place order confirm right so it is better that you give clear logical names when I say logical names the names that you see on the object over here should be meaningful for any tester so that when you read the script it becomes quite clear to you all so this feature is called right object mapping okay so you map the objects you can highlight rename objects you can do much more but I would like to restrict because this is RFT's version you can go deeper and deeper and deeper but we would like to give essential information to you so that you can understand the concepts well so this is called object mapping there is another question someone has called again uh, this is like you need to give a name and the name that appears in the script that should be meaningful for someone who reads the script clear of course every testing tool will have object mapping also every testing tool will have record and replay also of course every testing tool will have programming also here is my aim repeat this five times okay I want to do the same thing five times what I can do is I can I can put a for loop over here I can simply say define a variable int i integer i again this is pure Java don't ask me Java questions if you want to learn Java we can have a separate, separate webinar for Java so I create a variable now I say for i equal to 0 i less than or equal i less than say 5 i plus plus I put an open brace there at the end after this I am placing an open brace n for okay so it is always better to comment properly now I have given five times now let me reduce the delay to five seconds over here what I did is essentially I did coding I did coding inside the script imagine you have a situation book hundred tickets generate a bill see how it looks right you cannot generate everything just like that so you need to have programming technique so you define a variable then put a for loop now say run this is going to do it five times repeatedly good thing advantage of the tool is it doesn't get tired it doesn't get bored it doesn't ask for salary hikes <laughs> right it works 24 hours for me only thing is I need to record replay program map if I do all my duties correct on the tool tool is trustworthy in terms of repeating the regression tests it has finished one iteration two starts because we have put a for loop it is repeating the same thing that means it books the same thing again and again and again with the same data <coughs> there's a question that has already come out here a few people have asked uh, again this is doing for the same data can we change data yes please wait once we finish this repeat for the same data once this test is over I will show you 
something called data driven test when we say data driven test same screens same steps instead of passing quantity as 2 I'll pass quantity as 3 instead of passing visa credit card we'll pass MasterCard instead of 12 slash 12 we will pass a different expiration date we will pass different credit card number so once this run finishes I will show you a data driven test how to do that please wait till the run finishes and another important thing when the automation testing is going on when replay is going on don't touch the mouse don't touch the keyboards because it was focusing on some box text box or button if you move the mouse the focus will get lost so it may not play properly so when automation is going on leave the system unaffected I think this is the fifth iteration or fourth iteration I'm not sure let us wait till it finishes so right now what we did is we programmed to repeat for the same data instead we can always do something like repeat same steps but with different data using data driven test good the run has finished it has done five times okay is this clear to you all Based, making a simple loop again this is purely Java loop you need to know Java for this okay great let me go to the data driven part what I'm going to do is right now we repeated the same thing over here instead of repeating the same data I'm going to do what I'm going to do I'm going to comment this okay I'm going to comment the for loops instead of um, putting a loop by ourselves 